Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and join my YouTube family. Also, go check out my Instagram because I post content there as well. So today I have my subscription unboxing for you guys for the month of May. And I do want to do a little disclaimer that I am wearing a dress, but I feel rather exposed in it. I'm still not ready for like sleeveless dresses. There's just that issue with my arms. <laughs> but I wore this in my inspo look over the Princess Tiana and Dr. Facilier. You guys can go check that out. I will have it linked up above if you want to go check it out. It is part three of my Disney series. So yeah, but I'm relaxing now doing an unboxing. So I thought I would just throw my robe on and roll with it. So first I have my boxy charm here, which is already opened. I was super excited and could not wait to see what I got in my boxy charm this month. But this month's theme is make waves. There's a little card. Like always, I will have everything down below in the description box if you wanna go check it out there. Links to sign up, the price, all that kind of stuff. And I do already have my face story video up, so I will link it up above if you wanna go check it out. But I will give you guys prices as I go if the cards have prices on them. So the first thing we got this month is from Glam Glow. You would either got this or something I believe from First Day Beauty, which I was okay with either one of them, but I am super excited to try this out. This is their new Gentle Bubble Cleanser. And the packaging is really cool. I'm just hoping that the product is really cool as well. But it's supposed to be really good, like very gentle on your skin, but a really good cleanser. This is what the bottle looks like. So the bottle is really fun too. It looks just like the Unicarton. It is open already. I'm not really getting a strong scent from it. And it kind of, it's just like a white cleanser, but it does kind of look like, like that pearl look to it. So it kind of has a little bit of a shimmer to it, which is really cool. But yeah, I'm excited to try this out. I will definitely have to throw this in a skincare video for my Instagram. If you guys are still up for some more skincare videos, the response that I've gotten on the Dermalogica video, I'm just like so like shocked about, but more so about my, my views and how many people are interested in a video like that. So if you guys are interested in more videos like that, let me know down below in the comments or give me some thumbs up. The second product we got, which I'm super excited about, is from Alomar Cosmetics. And they came out with blush palettes. And she's mentioned before they can't or they did their brush trio in a boxy charm, and they also did their first volume one palette in a boxy charm before and I was super stoked about it and then when they came out with volume two which I still haven't got my hands on and I still need to I will because that formula is so good and the colors are so beautiful but when they came out with volume two she said that it was never going to be featured in a boxy charm so I just kind of thought that they weren't on bad terms but she was like done putting her products in boxy charms so that they would get more of an income off of them. But I was so excited when they announced that these were going to be in BoxyCharm this month. So this is a blush trio. I did get Fair Light, so I'm excited about that. It does come with a good like little slip sheet in there. And then these are the three shades. It does have like the Alomar A in them, but I got Castaway, Parasol, I think is how you say that, and Scorcher. I've seen these on them for their campaign and they are so beautiful and so like just pigmented, like full on heat moment, like so beautiful. So the Glam Glow Gentle Bubble Cleanser retails for $28 and then the Alomar Cosmetics Blush Trio Palette retails for $22. That's really good. The next thing I got is from Ciate London and this is their Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow. This is the shade Cupid. And I was thinking, usually when we get something like this, it's a cream eyeshadow, it's like gold, bronze. 
you get the same thing like over and over again. So I was super excited to get something that's cool and fun like this. I do believe I've gotten something really close like this from Cover FX in a boxy charm that I don't use it often and I definitely need to start breaking more things like this out because that is just so beautiful. And I'm definitely excited to try this formula. That retails for $22 as well. And then we have a liquid matte lipstick from Dose of Colors, which is really cool. Um, I was kind of hoping to get more of like the bold red that I've seen some people getting, but I did get Bury Me, which is a very vibrant berry shade, but I will be keeping it. I love Dose of Colors, and I honestly don't have too many of Dose of Colors lipsticks besides... Um, ones that I've picked up from the Desi X Katie collection and the I Love Sarah E collection. I also have one from the Dose and Mickey collection, but still have not got my video on that done yet. <laughs> that will be coming soon at first impressions. I just don't know for sure when. <laughs> The Dose of Colors Liquid Matte Lipstick retails for $18. And then the last thing I got from BoxyCharm is from Mellow Cosmetics. It is their Brow Definer. You don't know how this is going to work for me. I did get the shade, oh, chocolate. So I don't really know if this is going to work for me or not. I might have to just pass this along to somebody else. Really sucks. I feel like this happens all the time. We get brow products and it's just like, that's not going to work for everyone. But I do really like Mellow Cosmetics. I just really wish that there was more of a range on the brows. Maybe there was, but I don't know. Maybe I'll end up being brave enough and trying it out. And if it doesn't work, I can just pass it to a family member. That is it for BoxyCharm this month. I do think that it was really good though. I could honestly say that's probably one of the best boxes we've gotten recently. Next, I'll move on to Allure Beauty Box now. So I'm really liking the bag this month. And you guys know I haven't been saying that. Hopefully it's not torn or anything. Usually they come torn for me. They're still keeping that see-through moment, but look how cool this is. I definitely need to start breaking these out for like pictures or, you know, outfit of the day, that type of ordeal, because these are so beautiful and cute for the summertime. Got our little pamphlet here. And the first thing we got is from Le Jing. I honestly could be mispronouncing that, but I love their lip sleeping mask. This is their moisture cream water bank. So the full size looks like this here. This is just a little sample. Allure is 15 a month, but you just get like sample, deluxe samples, and then sometimes full size. They've done amazing every single month, so I'm sure this month's gonna be just as good. But yeah, I will definitely have to try this out. I'm a little bummed that you can see the product starts right here, so there's really not much product in here, but I love the lip sleeping mask that I have from this brand. Next, you would have gotten the Saint Tropez Self Tan Purifying Bronzer Water Gel, which is what I got right here. Or you would have gotten St. Tropez Self Tan Purity Bronzing Water Face Mist. So I did get the bronzing water gel. I don't really know what the big difference is. I think the other one is just a mist for your face though, which is really cool. If you got this one, you did get the mitt, so that is really cool. I actually use one from Loving Tan, but I will definitely give this one a go as well. I have some other products um, like this from St. Tropez. If you guys are interested in videos on self-tanners, I can definitely do that this summer. I'm excited to start breaking them out and trying them again. I've only ever tried ones like Jerkins and stuff like that besides Loving Tan. I love Loving Tan. After I found them, I kind of just quit looking, but I have some like this and I think one from Tarte, a couple others, so I need to give them a go and try them out. Then we got a Eye Lights Metallic Eyeshadow from Model Co. in the shade Saint Bart's and it is just a smaller, kind of like a pinky champagne color. So kind of like the same, like the Ciate London one I just showed you guys, a liquid eyeshadow type ordeal. Next up, we got a lip gloss from Lartsy Cosmetics. I definitely have seen this brand a lot more through subscriptions. I feel like they're starting to get a lot more well-known. 
and this is a really pretty like nude pink gloss. I definitely will be holding on to this. I don't usually do that with glosses, but I feel like this is a gloss that I would really like right about now. I've been going for more of a lip balm glossy moment, so I will definitely have to try that out and try their formula out. This is full size too, and they retail for $20. Next we have, not 100% sure how to pronounce this, but this is called Erase and it is their cleansing, exfoliating, and brightening powder. It says, combine this loose powder exfoliator made with milk powder and oats with water, apply, wait a minute, massage it away, and it unclogs pores and renders skin as soft as a baby in a tiny velour tracksuit. <laughs> I will definitely have to give that a go. That is really cool and very interesting. Another item for a skincare video for sure. And the last things we got this month is from Nunzio. And this is their anti-frizz sheets. So these are portable hair luster sheets that you use if your hair is really frizzy, which mine can get frizzy or just crazy out of control. You can take these and kind of smooth down the frizz. So that is really cool. I definitely have needed this. I play back some of my videos and I'm like, I really needed to tame my hair before I posted that. <laughs> Moving on to play. I'm really hoping they woo me this month because again, I've just kind of been on that borderline. This is greetings from play, but it just kind of has like postcards and stuff. So I guess just greetings. Of course have that recyclable play bag. The first item I really am excited about because I've been wanting to try this out for a little while now, but this is the Bad Gal Bang Mascara from Benefit Cosmetics. When they released this, I've wanted to try it out since then, and that's been a little while, honestly. So yeah, I'm excited to try this out. It's supposed to be very volumizing and I believe lengthening too. It says 36 hour full blast volume, which is a little intense, but the before and afters look amazing with this. The only downfall, which really isn't a downfall, is the fact that I think I just spent, not points, but like money on this through Ipsy. I think I redeemed this from like their add-on because it was on there. And I think it's a deluxe sample like this that I just spent $3 on, so I'll have two now. The second one is an always-on liquid lipstick from Smashbox, which I love these. But this is kind of disappointing seeing one this size because I have gotten... I only have, I think, two of these. I love this formula, and I do need to just end up buying some of the full sizes, but I've gotten two of them from Sephora Plays, but they've been deluxe sample sizes, but they're bigger than this, so they've downgraded their sizes again, which is a little depressing. It does still have that triangle um, DOFA applicator, though, and this is in the shade Stepping Out. Really pretty and nude shade. I will definitely be keeping it and trying it out. Next, this is exciting too. I do already have this product though because I love it. I absolutely adore Sol de Janeiro and I got one of their little mini, um, these are body creams, but this is the Coco Cabana cream and it's really good. I'll probably keep this one too. I have, um, the bigger one open, but I like these sizes to throw in the bottom of my purse. I usually keep their Bum Bum Cream little one like this in the bottom of my purse. I just love the smell of it. That's like a firming one. So I will probably switch it out for this one so that I can just use a hydrating lotion when I'm needing it on the go. Next, I got Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream from It Cosmetics. This is exciting and something that I would love to try out, but it is Again, a rather small sample. There's that big indention and there's honestly not much product in there. It has kind of like a fresh scent to it. We'll definitely have to try that out. Next, I got from Alterna Hair Care, their Caviar Anti-Aging Re Restructuring Bond Repair Leave-In Heat Protection Spray. Really cool. It's not really, a, is it a spray? kind of looks like a pump, but yeah, I think it's a spray. I have tried some of their products and have liked them in the past. And the very last thing is our perfume sample of the month, which I'm excited to try out, but 
I'm intrigued by the name of this. I really like, this is from Victor and Rolf, and I really like their flower bomb, but this is their salty flower, so. That smells really good. It's a little sultry, a little spicy, but really like feminine at the same time. Like I really like that. That's honestly probably a new favorite. Lastly for this month, I have my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus Plus add-on. So I'm gonna show you guys the regular items first and then I'll show you guys my add-ons. Um, this month was Ipsy Daydream, right there. And the first thing we got is from Avine, Abavine. I think is how you pronounce that. I have tried some of their products before, but the first thing is their Soothing Moisture Mask, which retails for $26. Items in the Glam Bag Plus are full size, just like a uh, boxy charm. And this is what it looks like. So it is a Soothing Moisture Mask, and I've actually been wanting to look for some new soothing mask, but moisture masks is just as good too. So I'm excited to try this and this does save for sensitive skin. Next, we got an eyeshadow palette from Wander Beauty. It is their Wondrous Seascape eyeshadow palette. This is what the unicorn looks like. Kind of has like a beachy moment going on. And it looks like that's the theme of the shadows as well. This palette retails for $25 and it is kind of like a little mini palette. It honestly looks really cool with my backdrop going on right now. I will definitely have to do a first impressions because I love Wander Beauty. But this is the shades. Definitely shades that I could say that I have in my collection, but the formula on this does look interesting. The only downfall is it does look like it just has one matte, but being a mini palette like this usually isn't like that big of a deal because it's more for like on the go. And when you're on the go, sometimes a matte crease and several different metallic colors for your lid is a really good option. Next we have Yinsa. Never heard of this brand, but this is their Tone Up Primer Essential Glow. And that sounds really exciting. I don't think we've gotten a primer from Ipsy before, unless it was like a small deluxe sample size. This is what it looks like. It looks really cool. I can't say the packaging feels like, you know, cheaper, more like drugstore. This does retail for $35, but it is supposed to be a primer. It says tone up. So I don't know if it means just like the tone in your skin or actually toning your skin, but it does say essential glow. So I'm assuming it's going to give some glow to your skin. And that's my favorite primers. That and moisturizing primers. Then we got a mascara, but it's their Icon High Volume and Intense Curl Mascara. It's just in a very chrome looking packaging. The brush from the pitcher, because I don't want to open it. I have a lot of mascaras open right now. But the brush from the pitcher just kind of looks like short bristles maybe even plastic ones, so not my absolute favorite, but I'm excited to try this out. I've never really heard of this brand before, and this does retail for $25. And then lastly, we got a lip coloring pencil duo from Isla Mascu, but there's actually two lip liners in here, which is really cool that they included two. I believe they did that last month with lip balms which was really interesting. Red and a pink shade. This is the pink one that I'll show you guys. It's just like a, your standard, like actual wooden pencil liner. This is the shade, oh, Media. This is the shade Media. And then this is the shade Lust. And it is like the more red shade. Definitely have to try those out. I definitely have more eyeliners in my collection than lip liners. And those retail for $21 each. So that is awesome. And lastly, I have my add-on items that I just bought. So I bought two full size because I could not resist. The first one is from Lovecraft Beauty. I got their blush trio last month in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I haven't tried it out yet, so I don't even know the formula on it, which was probably a bad idea, but 
I seen this and they had this marked to $12 for their add-on. So I definitely want to try it. It was full size. I know I probably will only be able to use one of these because that's usually how um, contour bronzer palettes go, but this shade over here does look pretty promising and I will have to put this in a video with their blush trio that I received. And then I also spent $12 on this. This is skincare from Pixie, so I'm excited about this. This is their Glow Pill Pads. It has glycolic acid and rose water in it. And I've heard amazing things about Pixie skincare. I love their glow tonic toner. So I definitely wanted to try these out. And also another Bad Gal Bang mascara from Benefit Cosmetics. And I spent $3 on this. But that is it for this month's subscriptions. I will be back next month with more. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Give me some thumbs up if you did. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you in my next video.